In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to synchronize the configuration between a development and live site using the core configuration manager module. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to synchronize the complete set of configuration changes between a development site and a live site. Before you get started with this tutorial, you want to make sure that you are familiar with the concept of configuration data and how Drupal makes use of it, and that you have both a live site and a development site set up, and the development site has configuration changes made that you would like to transfer to the live site. See the written version of this tutorial for links to each of these prerequisite tutorials. For this example, I've got two different sites, the Anytown Farmers Market live site and the development version of the Anytown Farmers Market site. I've changed the site name of the development version to make it clear. You can see that here. Both sites have a vendors view, though I've made some changes to the one on the development version of the site so that the configuration differs from that of the live site. You can see here, the name of the view is list of vendors on my development site and on my live site, it's just vendors. There's a couple of other changes as well. On the development site, in the manage administrative menu, navigate to configuration, scroll down and under development, click on configuration synchronization, and then click on the export tab. On the resulting page, click the export button. This will generate an archive of the full site configuration data. You can save this file to your local computer. Then over on your live site or the destination where you would like to synchronize the configuration to, in the manage administrative menu, click on configuration and scroll down and under the development section, click configuration synchronization and then click import. Click the choose file button and locate the file that you downloaded that contains the archive of your configuration from the development site and upload that file. You can verify that the differences shown are what you expect. You may see configuration items that have been added, deleted, or changed. For changed items, you can click View Differences to see what the changes are. When you're satisfied, click Import All to import the configuration changes. After completed, you should see a message that says the configuration was imported successfully. If I navigate back to the home page of my live site, I can confirm that this worked by seeing that the name of this tab was changed from vendors to list of vendors. In this tutorial, we learned how to create and import an archive that represents all of the configuration on a particular site and how to move that configuration between development and live sites.